Okay, this is my last footwood fire, and it is uh, incense cedar. You can see I made some uh, pretty cool curls with this stuff. It uh, is easy to make curls, but uh, hard to uh, make my prep, especially this small pencil lead size. As you can see, the wood is really curved, and to get off a nice straight longer piece is really tough. So uh, it uh, has been a chore getting the uh, small stuff. I'm using uh, some dried leaves and uh, thistle, not thistle, but uh, cheatgrass uh, thorns for the uh, tinder this time. It's about the only tinder I've got left around here in the hot desert to use. So uh, we're going to do that. Might have to squish this down. There we go. Take very long with that. The thistle tops is about like the cheatgrass, but it's just the uh, the tops of the uh, cheatgrass. And you can see I got some nice curls here. And I gathered this thistle top from the cheatgrass over here close to where I am right here. And uh, Here, get some of the curls going. In a fire, you always uh, have to uh, not assume that it's just going to go because the flame gets going. You have to have oxygen to it. And uh, in the right amount of fuel. And I got three times the amount of prep again. Which I say is, is the hardest on this incense cedar. Because of uh, the shape of the wood and the knots in it and whatnot, it was a real pain to tell you the truth. Um, why we talk about twig fires in the bushcraft form as well. And a twig fire would be better with this type of wood. Uh, you can see the, the wood I gathered. Uh, some of it looks really good. I've made some spoons out of it before. Intense cedar has the reddish colored bark like the uh, regular cedar, but uh, Usually smaller trees, and uh, has a nice smell to it. Try some of this finger size here a little bit. We burn wood at home, and so the cool part of doing these split wood fires is I have plenty of kindling if uh, I. Uh, have extra, which I always do, because the whole idea is to have three times this amount. This part got going good, but it's taken a while to get high. But it will. It's about 30 degrees out here, and uh, so this feels kind of nice.
about knee high right now, but I'll get it going a little bit more. Use Jose Diaz's knife again. Love these curls when they uh, come out this way. Some of the guys on the bushcraft form can uh, really make some neat designs with them. And you want the curls nice and thin, and you want them so that uh, they curl as well. That's why they call them that. If they curl, it shows that they're thin. And uh, some aren't as thin as others. Now we got a knee high. Anyway, that's incense cedar, my last split wood fire.